Well, I'm on the farm today and uh, I'm back here over the hill next to a future hay field. And uh, we're having a little issue on this farm. We've always had trees come down. We don't have to cut anything standing. We've always had trees come down with the wind and the rain. And, uh, but there's some big oak trees up here. And there's something getting under the bark. There's something killing these trees. Not all, not all of them, but just uh, one here and one there. And, uh, and they're falling out in the pastures. And they're falling across some of the roads. And uh, right here's one that we had to deal with. Uh, some time back, I'm gonna walk up, walk on up here in the woods, and uh, I mean, there's wood everywhere up here, and we used to burn firewood when my kids were under my feet. We had two wood stoves in the house, and we would burn about seven cords of wood a year. All of it cut up here in these woods and uh, and uh, but you can see there's a dead tree. We won't cut it down. I don't like the idea of a widow maker coming down and knocking me in the head. I knew a guy on the internet years ago. He was a prolific poster on a some kind of firewood for him and really really knowledgeable and he had uh, he was cutting up a tree and uh, a big limb fell out and crushed him broke his neck broke his back his pelvis I think maybe one of his legs the fallout of it was he became a quadriplegic from the neck down, he was paralyzed forevermore. And that has always haunted me uh, here in these woods. And so I have no desire to cut down a tree when we got them laying all out through there. There's one way on beyond those limbs. And I can walk up in these woods even further and show you. Right there's a dead one, of course. There's one right up there. Um, I believe, you probably can't see them from here, but there's a couple laying over here. And there's another dead uh, oak. It's like something's getting under the bark. And of course, we've got that. And then the uh, ash borer has devastated whatever ash trees are on this farm. But it seems to be limited to just the biggest of big trees. And, uh, but we're killing our smaller chainsaws, sawing some of these things up. Uh, so I've decided to add to the fleet, a, a, for us, a, a big chainsaw. So as I steam towards retirement, uh, one of the things I'm trying to do is pick up, uh, I call them retirement nuggets, but uh, really... I'm trying to put in my hands for me to use and tinker with some outdoor power equipment that's uh, really new and freshened up and and uh, but also to uh, have available for my boys uh, who are a lot stronger than I am to use long term even after I'm long gone and uh, you know the way uh, the the regulations on saws are tightening up and I uh, feel like uh, this is probably a good time to buy and uh, let's get them under our belt and uh, don't have to worry about uh, the future when it comes to what's available and what's not available in regards to a chainsaw. So, uh, and it also is nice because uh, small engines, small, uh, you know, lawnmowers and garden tractors and trimmers and chainsaws that's a hobby of mine 
And uh, so I've got a lot of old saws and some newer saws and then some new saws. And I'll have videos on this stuff as uh, months and years unfold. Uh, it'll always be part of this channel. But the, the tool I want to show you today is this is an Echo 620 PW. And uh, it's got a 24 inch bar and it's got a full wrap handle. I've never owned a chainsaw with a full wrap handle. And I guess the goal is so you can turn it up like that and, and cut into a tree instead of just uh, going in one direction. But uh, this saw is very similar to the Echo 590. I looked at three different saws. Uh, one of them was the 590. It's a Timberwolf. And uh, it's a, a lower price saw than this one. And I also looked at a 7310, uh, which is considerably more money. And uh, it's a 70... It might be a 73cc saw. This one's like 59.8. It's basically a 60cc uh, uh, chainsaw. And uh, so I read the reviews and watched a lot of videos. And uh, uh, kind of as a compromise, I settled on, settled on this 620p. I felt like uh, it had some upgrades on it that the 590 didn't have. Um, do they really make a difference for what we're doing? Uh, probably not, but I'm buying with the long view, long term. So, uh, I would like, uh, you know, a saw that'll hang in there with us, uh, uh, for a long time. And when I say a long time, I mean 20 plus years. And, uh, so when we encounter these big trees that come down and you can see the remnants off the, the, the end of this tree where it fell over there that we've, uh, cut and just pushed out of the way. Um, I wanted something that could was capable of handling the biggest of the big that we've got up here uh, with relative ease. Now this saw right here, uh, it 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 came with a 24 inch bar. You can go up to 27. I've seen videos of a guy in oak with a 32 inch bar. Now would this saw be happy? With a 27 inch bar or a 32 inch bar every day in oak probably not um, there's a lot of hyperbole in some of these saw videos you know it's kind of like back in back in the day you know you'd buy should you get a straight six cylinder in your pickup truck or should you get a like a ford f100 or f150 should you get a 300 six cylinder straight six or should you get you know like the biggest va they v8 they got and i remember one guy was telling me uh you know i like it when i step on the gas it'll go right up over the the mountain or whatever it is and i always thought well i kind of like the six cylinders they were durable and uh if i got to slow down a little bit that's okay and so this is not the biggest saw i could have got uh it's not the smallest saw, but it's the biggest saw I own and probably will be the biggest saw I'll ever own. Uh, but in, in any event, uh, I felt it a good compromise between quality and size. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up here uh, and try to run this thing. And I'm just going to cut off a little bit of the tip of this thing. I know it's, some of it's rotten down in here, maybe, but... Uh, uh, just kind of give you a, a view of it, and then it'll give me a chance to run it a little bit. And then I'll have more on this saw, uh, like I say, as the months and uh, years go on. And uh, But uh, a lot of firewood uh, cutting up here. And, of course, when I get back into, when I retire, uh, we'll be burning a lot of firewood. I'll, I'll be processing a lot of firewood on this farm. So uh, this is a nice addition, and... Uh, I've told my family this will probably be the last saw I buy, but I put probably in there instead of absolutely because you never know.
So I'm gonna leave the video right here. My battery's getting low. I would just say this Echo uh, 620p. I would say this Echo 620p is an animal. Hit the like button, subscribe, more videos, share, comment, and we'll talk to you later.